these two teams, the Monstars and West Orange White. Uh, we were, are anticipating two fields. Eventually, there is one team also here warming up. But uh, for the time being, you can watch this exact game on the Field A or Field B stream on the D1 Media Pro page console on the NFHS network. Uh, we apologize if you can't see clearly because of the fog. Nothing much more we can do about that as the rain starts to fall. So we'll play from the 40 yard line and in. Again, seven on seven rules. We'll see the Monstars on offense first. All right, so we are ready to go with this first seven-on-seven seven match. Again, Monstars will start on offense. You're watching the Field A camera for this event. Seven-on-seven, seven, so no offensive linemen. And we have a completed pass, and we are playing two-on-two. Two, so, uh, or two-hand touch, so. So after a first down play, another snap, QB looking to roll, has a man on a wheel route, and that ball was dropped and incomplete. That would bring up third down. Again, we are going uh, all day long here. We are going with 10U, 11U, 12U, 13U, and 14U and 15U. Should wrap things up around 1.30 this afternoon. Again, rain's starting to fall and apologize for the foggy weather if you're unable to get a perfect view of the field. We'll have a throw and a completed catch, and again, playing two-hand touch. So down just outside the 30-yard line. This would bring up fourth down, so I would assume they're going to go for about two yards away from the first down marker. Off the snap, dumped down in front. 
That pass falls incomplete. And that would bring up a turnover on downs. And yes, it will, as both teams will switch sides and get their respective offenses and defenses out on the field. So both teams will switch sides as, again, we'll play from the plus 40-yard line in. Seems like the fog is not diminishing, only intensifying as the rain starts to pick up. Zoom plays. The two teams switch sides. They'll dump a pass over. That's intercepted and brought back near midfield. So we'll have another turnover, and the Monstars will send their offense back out on the field. So after the interception, they're going to try and throw one up deep, and it falls incomplete. Trying to take a deep shot downfield, that would bring up second down. Again, we're expecting rain all day here in West Orange. We started off with a drizzle earlier this morning and that has now picked up to a little more steady rain. Again, fog is thick and heavy here on this Sunday morning. So a second down and 10. Again from the 40 yard line, which is the starting point for all drives. Receivers running deep. Again, they're going to heave one. He has a man, and it's caught. That's your play of the day so far. It goes for a gain of about 17 yards. And for the first time this, this morning, we have a first down. Again, we are anticipating the Field B camera to be up and running soon. There is no Field B game right now. We're 
anticipating two games going on simultaneously where the winners would play in the uh, group championship game and the losers would play in the group consolation game, but that does not seem to be the case as there's only one team still practicing and warming up. So uh, I don't know if there was a forfeit or a no-show, but uh, only the field A cameras going on right now. As a first down play, the quarterback going to roll out. He's got a man deep, and it's caught along the sideline. Back-to-back -back big plays for another first down for the Monstars. Be another first down play. This is a first and goal to go situation with the ball on the 10 yard line. Quarterback going to roll out, and that pass is intercepted. And again, no run back, so a scoring opportunity goes by the wayside. Want me to take everything down? Yeah. All right. No, we're going downstairs. The shutters aren't open. Okay. So a turnover on downs. This ball again will start at the 40-yard line. Monstars had a prime scoring chance. After the turnover, West Orange will throw a pass out to the near side. It's caught and touched down right around the 30-yard line. It'll go as a first down, I believe. Ball is spotted just at the 30 yard line. Second possession on offense. We've seen two interceptions and two and one turnover on downs. This is the fourth drive of this first game. Quarterback gonna take a snap, gonna throw it to the flat, and that pass was broken up, nearly intercepted. over the middle and it falls incomplete.
Yeah. So a swing route, and it's caught. Receiver slides down, and now he's touched down. Put it with our stuff. Want me to take back now? Yeah. So that was a fourth down play. The teams are going to switch sides once again. Still no score here in this first 10 u match. On first down, they're gonna go deep. Got a man, and the ball falls just incomplete. On second down, quarterback going to roll out, throws on the run, pass is complete, getting a block, getting upfield, first down, and more, and scampering out inside the 20-yard line, down around the 15. It goes as a gain of 20-plus, and once again, inside the red zone, inching closer towards the goal line, they will spot it down just shy of the 20 at the 22. A throw towards the end zone, diving, and the ball falls incomplete. Getting aggressive now with how they're trying to move the ball downfield. Second down from just outside the 20-yard line. Fog starting to lift ever so slightly as the rain continues to fall. On second down, quarterback gonna roll out to the near side of the field. Directing traffic, throws a pass, a diving attempt. But that ball is incomplete, unable to reel it in, and that would bring up third down.
a third down play upcoming. After the big pass play, offense hasn't been able to move the ball any closer to the end zone. We'll see if that'll change here. Quarterback has a man out towards the goal line. Pass is tipped, almost caught or intercepted as it falls incomplete. And that would bring up fourth down. I just heard 30 seconds left in the game. Us again looking to try and throw it deep. Receiver is still going downfield. He's got a man, throws it up, and the ball falls incomplete as the defense celebrates, and that will go as a turnover on down. So there's no score. The Monstars were the closest to scoring. As it looks like that might signal the end of the game as the two teams will shake hands. So we will step aside for a break and we'll be back right after this. Do you want your school to be covered by the number one live stream service in the state of New Jersey so the entire country can see moments like this? We play once again. Free kick coming for the Mountaineers. Short shot on goal. On post. And West Orange lets the goal. And they win. They take down the number two ranked Seton Hall Pirates. Bullock takes the snap, he's going to take it himself, barreling towards the goal line, and he's in! Taraj Bullock from three yards out, and the Marauders lead it, 20 to 10. Or be a witness to championships like these. Montclair, our state! So due to the weather, we are going to change our... Welcome back to the Field A live stream here on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. We will be going from the 40-yard line to the goal line. We have now moved to our second 10-minute game. We are at now 12U. And on Field A, we have West Orange Blue versus Silk City. We do have some rain in the forecast, as you could probably tell. But we are back for you, producing some youth football. Jay, put your hat on. Put your hat. As you can see, the umbrellas are out, and everyone is preparing for some rain this morning and through this afternoon.
We are running towards the opening play of the second game on Field A between West Orange Blue and Silk City. And we will kick off from the 40-yard line. Looks like West Orange Blue will be on defense in Silk City. The home team will start off with the ball. And the snapper slash quarterback will play it out from the 45. He will chuck it down the field. Incomplete pass, just a little too strong. 0 for 1 today. So we remain at the 40 for second down. Both teams will be allowed two coaches on the field. From the 45, and it's incomplete, 0 for 2 through the hands again. So now be third down. So third down now from the 40. Still no yardage gained from Silk City on the ball. They start from the 40. They will try and work their way to the end zone. They've already worked themselves into third down. West Orange Blue will now defend. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the D1 Media Pro and West Orange page on the NFHS Network. We will now have a snap this time. Back from the 44 this time. Here's a shotgun throw. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. So from the 40, we will now see some fourth down football early. No yardage gain yet from Silk City. So with a little rain in the forecast, it is fourth down. From the 40. First completion of the game. And he will be touched down at around the 15. First down. So we somewhat move the chains now. It'll be first down from about the 25, as it looks like, or that will be from where the tunnel is from. Still 0-0, opening drive of the game. Possessing is Silk City. West Orange Blue on defense. They are now in first down territory from around the 20. They just huddled from the 25. And here is our backward snap. So here we go. First down, reset of downs here in the opening drive from the shotgun. There's a short pass to about the line of scrimmage, and it's incomplete. So 
Now it'll be second down. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. I'm Ryan Lally, joined with Bob here on camera. We should have a field A stream starting soon. Excuse me, a field B stream starting soon. With Kevin Connolly and Mustafa Hooten. Second down now. It is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We are looking to play football through 1.30 if the weather allows us on turf. So it'll be second and ten. From the 20, for a second down, QB winds up and throws, and it's incomplete, a good defensive play there to move us to third down, fantastic defensive play right there, and now West Orange is back in the danger zone on offense for their second third down of the game. Third and long now. Silk City trying to pick up 